Hey, welcome to Mott Pilates and Yoga. Um, I am here um, in my living room, nothing fancy, but I hope this just shows you that you can get a great workout with minimal equipment right in front of your TV next to your couch. <laughs> um, so I am here today, super excited. Um, I got a request to go through a, at least a 30 minute workout um, working on back for um, people with back pain. And I, I love getting requests. And, um, and I've been doing very short videos, my fa five favorites of you know, various things. And my whole goal um, was to start building up time and getting you more workouts, um, more that you can than just five things. Um, so I'm going to jump right into it, my first um, workout. And, um, and I know this person has requested it. She's not alone. A lot of people suffer from lower back pain or just kind of generally back pain because it's of our lifestyle. We sit a lot. Um, and so I am going to do a back workout for you. Um, it should be probably at least 30 minutes, very little equipment. Um, so really all I'm going to use is this long red band today. So lightweights would work as well for you if you don't have anything. Um, if you don't have a band like this, I highly recommend getting one all over the place, Amazon, you know. Um, but lightweights too, um, I went in, you know, maybe two, three, five pounds at the most. Um, or even just like soup cans in your pantry might work for you. Um, so the, the, the point of this is not going to be so much um, strengthening, but it's going to be strengthening with more kind of stretching. So strengthening in a, in a way of like um, helping to relieve your back pain kind of a thing. So my thought is we're going to do four rounds, I believe it's four rounds, um, three exercises. And we're for right now we're going to go through them two times. Um, the first thing we do will first thing we will do will be a stretch for the lower back followed by two strengthening exercises we're going to do them for 30 seconds um two times through and we'll do all four rounds sounds good i um really generally don't play any music um i don't know over zoom if you could even possibly hear my music and then you might not be able to hear me if i have music going on but please play your music Make this situation as enjoyable as you possibly can. Have fun with it. Um, so make sure you've got water, maybe a towel. Uh, my yoga mat, I'm going to have to dip it down there a little bit. So there you go, my yoga mat. Um, and again, something super lightweight. All right? And more importantly, smile, enjoy, positive attitude, open mind. Do what you can. Um, let's get started. So I've got my phone. It's going to be my timer. Um, I'm not wearing shoes too, by the way. Um, I'm not wearing shoes mainly because I'm not going to be jumping in this um, workout and I'm not using really weights. So um, feel free to use shoes if you want. Um, not really necessary for what we're going to do today. So, um, and also before you do this workout, just please make sure that um, you do have your doctor's permission to work out. Um, and you listen to your body. So if it means you sit out for a moment or two, do that. If you, you need to take a modification, you know, do that. Um, all right, and let's get going. So we're going to start off with a quick little warm up. So um, let's just start with um, some shoulder rolls. So really no lower body at all, um, for the most part. So we're just going to really do more of a upper body warm up here. So and then I just switch directions with my arms. All right, and then you're gonna take your arm up and back and maybe kind of come forward a little bit from the hips. Breathing is super important as you work out, make sure you're doing it. All right, one more. All right, and then we'll just open up and close. Open up and other arm closes. So 
So yeah, this was requested. So please, if you have any other requests, send them my way. I love it. All right, one more on each. Great. A um, little bit of four today. So let's go ahead and take one knee up as we bring that elbow to knee. If this bothers you, then maybe just come here and twist. So if that is kind of getting your back as you draw that knee up, forget it. And just twist. Otherwise, you're going to opposite elbow to knee. One more on each. Okay. From here, we're just going to kind of um, down that straight back and all the way up. And inhale, lower. And all the way. Up. Just take one more. All right, placing your hands on your lower back. You're just gonna kind of press your hips forward, draw your elbows in, soft knees, gaze up, and then back. And slowly ease into it, doesn't have to be very deep. And back. I'll take two more. Yeah, last one. Okay. Um, last thing, you can, um, you know, maybe drive that knee up and tap, okay? and it can be a very small move. Um, if you can, straighten out your leg, or you can get those toes. So again, you know, go where your back is going to lift you here. And then, you know, also just moving very slow and easy with this. Another way to get our core ready to go, because we will be working the core. Um, you know, often, a lot of times we get that back pain just because we have a weak front, so weak abs. So sometimes it's a matter of strengthening your abs, which, might, which will help your back. All right, one more. And this is why I really like Pilates, because Pilates focuses on your core, your center, so it's abs, lower back, and even into your hips, glutes, you know, area. All right, so first round, we are going to come into cat and cow, so cat and cow pose. So if it's even with that stretch, it's going to be 30 seconds. So um, I'm going to come this way so you can see me. So I'm into cable top. Knees right underneath my hips, wrists underneath my um, shoulders, dropping my belly as the crown of my head and tailbone come up. That's my inhale. And then as I exhale, I'm rounding, pressing the ground away, tucking my chin. So think of that angry Halloween cat. So we are going for time. Your goal is not to see how many cat and cows you can get in 30 seconds. It's just, it's just for the time. So, you know, really move with your breath here, especially on this stretch, especially with the cat and cow. Um, and just focus on going from one to the other, smooth transitions, continuing to breathe. And also taking the time just to take notice of what's going on in your back. You feel it. Okay? So it is, um, I've got our time here. I'm just checking that out. We're going to have about 30 seconds, or I mean 30 minute workout here in front of us, I hope at least. Um, all right, and I'm starting cat and cows right here. Neutral's fine. All right, so now we have bird dog. So um, just make sure you got the space. You're going to send that right leg back, left arm, land, and switch. 
So again, part of the cat and cow, it's more, it's better to transition with ease and grace than to speed through it. So as you are going from one to the other, um, I want you to think about your hips staying level. So watch that that doesn't happen. Um, I don't know if you can even see me, but my um, toes are pointing down. So my foot is flexed. And sometimes if you can kind of crank your toes to face your other leg, that will also help to keep that hip level. Um, the grounded arm is going to stay strong, press the ground away. So what you don't want is the sinking. Um, and of course, your belly button is pulled in. So you've got that neutral spine. All right. And then just ease from one to the other. All right. 30 seconds. Let's go. That's your inhale. Exhale, land. Inhale, reach. And gazing down. So for this first round, maybe take it very slow and easy. You do have another round after this. So, um, you know, maybe you're able to pick up the pace just a tad bit. Get one more in. Awesome. And then we're going to plop down to our stomachs for Superman's. Um, so here, you're going to take your arms out in front of you. You're going to lift your chest. You're lifting your quads up. So you're squeezing your glute muscles, squeezing your lower back. Soften your shoulders in here, okay? Pressing your hips into the ground. Do what you can here. Um, if that's too much, you can always come take cactus arms here, roll those arms. Um, yeah. And do what you can. 30 seconds. So inhale, lift up. And we're just going to hold here, gazing right down. Shoulders are soft. Keep squeezing your glutes, lower back. Pressing your hips down. Breathe. And 10 more seconds. And relax. Just take a moment, windshield wiper your feet from side to side. We're going to take one more round. All right, and press up. So we're going to go back to cat and cows. 30 seconds. You know the drill. Let's go. Five seconds. All right, neutral spine. Get ready for bird dog. Let's go right here. Opposite arm, leg lift. And land with quiet, with ease, with grace. Seconds and relax. All right back to Superman's lower down and let's go. Lift up, hold. Think about every inhale, lifting up a little higher. We have a new round right after this. Ten seconds. And relax. All right. And um, carefully kind of come on up. Um, kind of just stand. E coming all the way up. Care being careful. Standing. So this next round we're going to do a lot of standing and forward folding. Um, so we're going to our stretch is actually going to be just a forward fold. Um, so in your forward fold, um, you're going to come here, right? Forward fold. So your knees can be bent as much as you need. You can hold on to your elbows and sway from side to side as well. 
I want you to feel like, I want you to relax your head, let the crown of your head fall. And I want you to focus on softening all these muscles back here, okay? But one thing I have learned from all my trips to physical therapy is even if the pain or the discomfort is showing up in one area, it's probably due to something else. So another reason that pain might occur is because we are super tight all the way down the leg. You know, so the, the origin of the type of your back pain might really be in your tight feet, you know, or, you know, anywhere at the kinetic chain. Or because you're tight back, it might be causing some plantar fasciitis. So everything's so connected. Um, and so making sure you're just stretching all the way down along the back of your leg um, hopefully will impact your um, back pain. Okay, for the good. So I'm gonna do four full. So let's start there. Um, I've got my timer. Soft knees. Take a big inhale and exhale. Breathing. Let's go here. And if you want to sway from side to side. Five seconds here. All right, and relax. Well, you're already kind of relaxing, right? <laughs> All right, our next move, more strengthening, is going to be a halfway lift, okay? So from your forward fold, I want you to shift your hands either to your shins or even right above your knees. So if you see my back for a moment, it is nice and flat. So often, a lot of times, we've got this roundness. So I want you to think about taking your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades come together, belly button pulls up or pulls in. So you've got this tabletop in your back and your head is going to look, you know, you're just looking straight out because you want the crown of the head to be in a nice long line with the rest of your back. Okay. If you want to, even more challenging, you're going to take your arms out at airplane, like at shoulder level, belly button pulls in. You're going to take this and hold it. So isometric hold right here. Let's go. So again, you're here, you're here, or you're here. Okay, your arms are out at shoulder level, so you're also kind of getting your upper back. So I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades. Like you've got a pencil there, stuck. Soft knees. 10 seconds. Engaging your glutes, back your legs. And slowly relax. We're going to come out of this by coming down into that fold, rounding your back, bending knees, coming all the way up. All right, the last round is where we're going to grab our band or light weights. We're just from a standing position. We're going to keep our arms straight, okay? And then we're going to pull and squeeze the shoulder blades with our arms out straight like this. Little bit in your elbow the whole time. Okay, so I'll come this way so you can see. Exhale, squeeze, and back, okay? So that's what you're gonna do for 30 seconds, right here, go. One more. Awesome. All right, we're going to go back through that one more time with our forward fold. So again, soft knees. Go ahead and fold all the way down. And just let the crown of your head hang heavy and relax. Five seconds. All right. From here, we're going to come into our halfway lift and hold. Let's go now. So, shins above your knees. 
arms out and squeeze those shoulder blades. Any one of those places, belly button pulls in, squeeze your glutes, back your legs, soften your shoulders. Good, 10 seconds. Five. And slowly we're gonna bend our knees, come forward into that fold again and round all the way up. Very carefully. All right, last 30 seconds. Grab your band or light weights. Arms around it, straight arms, straight pulled back. Let's go. Ten seconds. One more. Relax. All right. Awesome. Round two is done. All right. So for the remainder of the round, I'm going to move my laptop all the way over here to this table. So please come into another forward fold if that feels good. Um, any kind of stretch, go grab water, whatever you need while I'm doing this. See, nothing fancy. <laughs> okay, let me get you situated here. All right, so our next round, we're going to start um, in a seated twist. So right, extend your legs out in front. Um, so for this, we're going to take 15 seconds on one side, and then we'll actually, we'll do 15 seconds on um, the right side first. And then we'll go 15 seconds on the left side of the second round. So let's just stick with the right side the whole 30 seconds. So what is this going to look like? You're going to take that right foot to the other side of your left leg. You're going to take your left arm and wrap your knee and draw it in. Your right toes are pointing up. Actually, those are your left toes. <laughs> you're pointing up so your foot's flexed. And then you're going to twist over that right shoulder as you draw your knee in, okay? Think about inhale, sit up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, twist. Use your abs. Belly butt pulls in to protect your back. Every exhale, okay? Do what you can here. Go as deep as you're allowed, as your body will allow you. Let's go right here. Ten seconds. And release. Okay, so the next round is going to be a leg lift on your side. And we're going to do this for 30 seconds and the last round, the, um, and then we'll switch to the other side for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to tilt you down just a tad bit more. All right, you're going to come all the way down. I'm starting on my left side. Okay, so let me go this way so you can see somewhat of my legs here. Hips are stacked and shoulders are stacked. I'm on my forearm. If you're here with me, just make sure you're squeezing that oblique, really pressing the mat away so you're not sinking down. Now you can come all the way down, hand and head, right? Or all the way down, ear and bicep, like laying all the way down. I don't know if you can see me doing all that, but okay. Um, and then you can bend that bottom knee if you want. We're going to take that leg lift or you can keep those legs straight. Okay? So it's just that top leg's coming up and lowering back down. I want you to squeeze right in here. Okay, so it's for 30 seconds. Let's go. Ten more to go. Five. 
and relax. All right, I'm just gonna simply switch sides. Again, go where you need to. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. All right, 30 seconds right into it. Let's go. I'm going to go to the left side of the seated twist in less than 10 seconds. One more. Great. All right. We're going to come all the way back up. I'm going to move this up just a tad bit. Okay. So now we're on the left side. So, um, right. I have to think about this. <laughs> so I did this last time, right? So that left leg is now going to come to the other side of your right foot. I'll go this way so you can see me a little bit better, right? Okay, my right arm is going to wrap my left leg, and I'm coming over my left shoulder, like gazing over, sitting up tall, exhale, twisting belly button, hold on. Let's go. Okay, not forcing anything. Just kind of coming to that warm stretch. Ten seconds. We're gonna go right into side uh, leg lifts, and then we have one more round. All right, relax. Right back down. Now, if you wanted to bump this up, you could put a band around your legs or hold a weight here too. So all these exercises I'm giving you, there are there is a way to bump, you know, if you need to, or, or if you're doing this workout over and over again, and, and eventually it's like, okay, I need to change this up. Adding weights would be one. All right, let's go. You know, adding a third round to all of these. We're just doing two today. You could instead do 30 seconds. You could add more time to it. So there's so many ways to keep that challenge up. But it's always best to start, you know, small. 10 seconds, especially if we're dealing with back pain. All right, one more. Great. All right, and let's switch. And you know, these exercises aren't necessarily for people with back pain too. Like these are great things to be doing to prevent back pain. You know, to keep your body strong. Let's go. This is a lot of these things are from Pilates and yoga. This is why I practice all that. Ten seconds. Okay, five. Squeeze. Squeeze. One more. Awesome. All right, round two is done. Okay, so for this last round, we're going to be doing all this from our back. So um, come all the way down onto your back. I'm going to again pull that this down. And our first stretch, we're going to do kind of what we did. On the other side. So we're just gonna hold the right side for the first round and then we'll hold second round left. So simply you're gonna hug your right knee into your chest. And this is what we're doing for 30 seconds. Just pulling that knee into the chest. My other leg, my foot is flat, so toes up. Okay, really important. Both sides are working. And then you're just drawing that knee in, your right one. Make sure your shoulders are soft, your back is grounded. You're breathing. Where are you breathing into? What are you? What should you be focusing on? Mainly the hip flexor, right? That hip crease, the front of your hip, um, and then wherever else this may be showing up for you. And relax. All right, and you're gonna ground to both of your feet. We're gonna go into bridge pose next. So we're holding bridge. So I want you to start off with your heels, you know, in close. 
So you should be able to grab your heel, if not at least touch your heel. Um, if you had a yoga block, you can stick it between your knees because what I want you to do is pretend that a yoga block is there or a ball or something because your inner thighs are engaging and kind of squeezing in towards your center line. Nothing's touching, you have space here, but you've got that, um, that engagement, that squeeze, okay? So starting here on your back, I'm just going to adjust my pants for a moment. Feel your lower back down on the mat, very important. Shoulders are soft. And then a slight gaze down. So I want you a little tuck in your chin. And then I want you to think about your feet. Your toes should be pointing forward as best as you can tell. And you should feel all four corners of your feet grounded to four corners. That would be the ball of your foot, the heel of your foot, and then both sides of your feet. All right? So as you inhale, I want you to think about peeling your lower back up off the mat, middle and upper. Again, you remember inner thighs engage. You're squeezing your glutes, your hamstrings, quads, and lower back. Arms stay long, so you can interlace them underneath you. The opening of your chest even more, shoulder blades come together, or they can just stay by your side and stay long. Okay, we gotta get our time going. Woo. All right, let's go. <laughs> so I'm holding my phone here, not ideal. Otherwise, I would interlace both of my hands. Here we inhale, think about pressing down to the ground to lift up a little higher. 10 seconds, coming into a crunch after this. So again, strengthening here, five. And we're gonna slowly, like picking up your heels and then sort of tucking your pelvis to slowly lower down, upper back, middle, and then your lower. Awesome. All right, we're gonna finish up with a crunch. So you're gonna take your elbows out wide. Um, if you tend to pull on your neck, then I want you to think about your hands to the sides of your face or on your forehead, or even across your chest, okay? Exhale out of your mouth, belly button pulls in, so flat stomach, and then you're gonna lower inhale. Okay, pretty simple, 30 seconds. Let's, <laughs> this is hard to do watching a time here. All right, let's go. Exhale, crack. So make sure you can feel your lower back on the mat. So it's not arching. Relax through your neck. So this is what's working here. This is what's lifting your shoulder blades all the way up. Five seconds. Get one more in. Awesome. All right, we're going back to that stretch. This time it's left side. Hug your left knee in. And ah, let's go. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Let's go. <laughs> Ten seconds. And relax. Bridge is next. Right, so as you inhale, let's lift up and hold. Go. Remember, just gotta go through your checklist that I mentioned the first round. All the things that you need to be working on here and, and thinking about. Most important, though, is breathing. So continue that inhale and exhale. Nice steady breath, less than 10 seconds. Engage your inner thighs. All right, lifting your heels, tucking your pelvis to slowly lower down, finishing up with those crunches. All right, let's go right here. See how high you can get your shoulder blades up. Ten seconds. Good five. Nice job. All right. And just bring the soles of your feet together and relax here. 
So that was it. That was our workout. Probably a little over 30 minutes. And we are going to do a few stretches to cool down. And the good thing is we've been kind of stretching all along in this um, workout. So we won't spend too much, too much time here, but it's always good to do a little bit of stretching and breathing at the end of the workout. So fill up in now. And exhale. And go through your nose. Exhale out of your nose. Let's do one more. Right, and draw your knees in. So feel free to hug your knees in and rock from side to side here or stay still. Then let's go ahead and maybe take happy baby. So the soles of your feet are up towards the sky. You're grabbing onto the outer edges of your feet. Feel free to grab onto the outer edges of your um, legs. And you should see your knees are kind of outside of your shoulders. And then you can continue to move here. Feel free to, again to stay still here, focusing on where you're feeling this. Maybe the hip flexors, inner thighs. Um, that's a dead bug. If you move, you're a happy baby. And let's work on a twist here. So bring your knees back together. Arms are out at T, and you're just going to let your knees fall to the right. Look to the left. Great stretch for your back. Come back to center. Go to the other side. Come back to center. And then from here, you can start to walk, rock, walk, rock from front to back. So from one end of your spine to the other. The rounded spine, chin is tucked. If this doesn't feel good, don't do it. Just rock side to side. And then eventually we're going to come all the way up. So roll to your, to your side to come up. All right, and then just take a big inhale, reach out to the sky here. Exhale, release. Good, one more time, big inhale. And relax. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I will see you next time. Again, let me know how, you, how this went for you. Comment below. Um, be sure to come back to my page to see all my other videos. Subscribe. Um, share this with others. And again, if there's any other kind of exercises you need, let me know. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.